hey guys welcome back to another video and i'll be sharing with you my experience at the pegasus hotel so just to give you guys a recap so i plan a road trip my family and i and we were supposed to go around the island in a couple of days five days the most and we were going to stay at different hotels in different parishes every night because due to curfew we only have a few hours during the daytime to do anything so we wanted to accomplish as much as we could each day and then find accommodations that night without any guest houses or airbnb and when i went on my favorite website i was so impressed to see all these properties there adhering to the covid sanitation protocols and guidelines in place by ministry of health so i also decided to stay at my favorite hotel which is the courtly and it's right next door to the pegasus hotel I was so excited y'all and because you know it's centrally located everything is pretty much in reach with a food tourist attraction you name it and I always feel safe when I stay there so upon arrival we realized there's no light nothing so we're still driving because the gate was open when we go up the security approached us and said <laughs> that the hotel is closed due to covid so I said, no, 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 hold on a second. So I start check my email them. Because me I'll get hotel confirmation for my reservation and everything. The only thing they never do was charge me. It took a moment for all of that for sinking. And then I said, no, what are we going to do? But go to the Pegasus. Pega what sauce? When did I grow up? All of me alone feel like say. <laughs> The Pegasus was only for some top of the top people and government officials. Yeah, I guess I'm me alone. So anyway, me I wonder me and say boy. I hope them have accommodations because the rate at how things is going, maybe them fully booked. Upon arrival at the Pegasus Hotel, you're greeted at the front door by the security who gets you all sanitized and clean and you're approached by a beautiful, warm, friendly lady who directs you to the front desk. I received a nice little discount because I explained to them my situation where I had reservations next door and they were undergoing construction and because of COVID that was not possible so they did give me a discount and I greatly appreciate it. Despite the fact that we weren't able to get a suite like I was hoping for, we did get a, a room with you know two beds. And since we were only spending one night, I guess we made ourselves very comfortable. Then the next morning we went down for breakfast. having breakfast as you can see it is very yummy and sumptuous very fulfilling and a hearty breakfast so far we've had fruits they're so delicious can't wait to have my porridge just waiting for it to cool off a little bit still hot and 
and I'm trying not to do too much talking because of the music in the background so we'll just be showing you the video from this point on stay tuned Porridge really tastes good. Can you taste the coconut milk? Oh my god, and not make the cinnamon. Yeah, man. So, Jamaicans do it in the mornings, you know? I'm actually impressed because most hotels they give you the continental, you know, or the American breakfast, but yeah, man. Pegasus, you are going with things. It was delicious. I really, really enjoyed breakfast. So what is a good story or a great story without a little, you know, dark side to it? So this is the flip side of my experience because I like to share the good, but I also share the bad too. So that same night, my husband decided to go down to the bar to have a drink and I was super exhausted. So I said I would you know, take a few minutes to recoup and to refresh myself and then I joined him downstairs. My 13 year old, he decided to come along and when we got out of the elevator, you have to walk across the lobby to get to the bar. And I was walking in front of him and I went in a secluded area where my husband was and he walked, my son walked in behind me. So this is what happened after we all three of us were seated we were approached by an employee who upon seeing the three of us sitting there he was so shocked and he apologized like a million times saying that he thought that my son was like a stray person from off the street how would he have gone past the front door security i really don't know and that's what my that's what's mind blowing and mind boggling to me so they think he he somehow strayed and got inside the hotel, possibly wanting to, you know, harass the guest, like begging or something. And I try to maintain my calm and keep my composure. And I acknowledge that I understood what he was trying to do. But deep down inside, I was really, really upset and disappointed. I don't know about anyone, but I've had my fair share of feeling as the sting of discrimination and it's unfortunate that it would happen especially on the island of Jamaica but it does we do have a class system there it's not racial but we do have a class system and you know some people get better treatment than others and it's always they profile you they look at you and they feel okay maybe you can afford this or that and you get a way different treatment from people who they think are deserving, quote unquote, deserving of a better treatment. But I feel like customer service should be across the board. It doesn't matter. Everyone should get a fair treatment, especially when you're spending your money. I have nothing personal against the employee. It's just the culture in Jamaica. And I was amazed that it exists, especially in the hospitality industry, the hotel, an accommodation industry because that should not be you know we should all be treated the same way because we're paying money and we're paying for accommodations and yeah that was actually my downside of staying at the Pegasus but besides that everything was great and I hope this video gets to someone in management I said I was gonna file a complaint because I, I re it really didn't sit well with me, that experience, and no one should have to feel that way or to go through it. So in conclusion, I do have a message for the Pegasus Hotel and 
all other hotel accommodations on the island they need to look into the culture of how their guests are treated by their employees especially when it comes to discrimination there needs to be some form of restructuring and they should provide i guess additional training to help these employees you know to reinforce that all guests are important and if people are spending their money they're deserving of the best possible customer service there is so that's it you guys for today's video as always give me a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and share and if you're new here please 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 subscribe catch you all in the next video Thank you.